Tom Morgan was raised in Ennis and spent time as a fishing guide. His passion for fly fishing led him to begin a lifelong career as a rod maker. As MTN's Chet Lehman tells us, Tom Morgan has passed away, but his legacy and his rods survive and are the focus of this week's Montana Made. For some, fly fishing is a sport. For others, a passion. Still others, it goes beyond even that. Tom Morgan saw it as a personal endeavor. So much so, he created this. I wanted to have a, a small custom rod shop and uh, build rods one off for each customer and, and really emphasize the quality of the rods and the relationship with each customer. And that's where, that's where Tom Morgan Rodsmiths began. So every single person on that board, we have that personal relationship with. And that's how we started to draw. So the no assignment board draw. says it all. Each is a oh, Tom Morgan rod, you do is you push down, but each right? is as you unique as the customer. Off the Tom liked it that way. And the old adage, the customer is always right, is the and heart this thing of his is legacy. So precise. And, shop, and how we make rods are maybe different than other people make rods. And, and maybe some people think it's a little crazy the way we make rods. <laughs> and, and we certainly learned that from, from Tom and his wife, yeah. Jerry. You know, that's very specific way of making rods and we like to say you know the attention to all the detail in the parts is what creates the sum that's greater than all those individual things when you get to the end of the process. This rod took nine About months nine to make months to, mm -hmm, and another yeah, nine to make correctly. Um, you see it had a flaw in its seal. Floor, uh, you might Tom not see it, look at it but Tom did. Um, you know Tom was such a stickler to detail and uh, you know we have this saying don't hold on to a mistake just because it took you a long time to make it. Both men admit a Tom Morgan rod isn't for everyone. Let's face it you can you buy a rod and catch like a fish that, pretty that's, easily. That's These rods are for the person who sees fishing wraps, as something um, more than just a way to catch a fish. I don't want to get too woo woo about the whole thing but there is kind of a, a spiritualism or mysticism with some kinds of fly fishing especially when you progress through you know the beginning intermediate and advanced stages you get to this place where you really want to fish where you want to fish how you want to fish and maybe with the instrument that's of your choosing that was made specifically for you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where we really find that nexus between what we do and what our customers really want. Make very, very Tom Morgan small, died a little more than very, a year ago before seeing this version of, of his dream. Matt and so Joel again, strive to assure that he would be proud to have his name on everything that leaves no this shop. Specs, Thanks see. to commitment to quality, each rod, from grip to tip, becomes more than just a fly rod. They become extensions of the owners. Tom hand, wouldn't have it any other way. We can In Bozeman, Chet Lehman, MTN News. Tom Morgan's legacy goes beyond just the rods that bear his name. Matt and Joel teach classes in rod making and the plan and the plane rather you saw in the video stripping the bamboo was designed by Tom. Tom was also confined to a wheelchair, so he never actually got to cast any of the rods he built. A link to the website is available on our website.